Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to take a few minutes and talk to you about your words. You know, the words that come out of our mouths. The Bible tells us that life and death are in the power of your tongue. Stick your tongue out at me. Parents, don't get onto them. Stick your tongue out real quick. That thing right there has the power of life and the power of death. And what I want to remind you today is to use your tongue and your words for life and not for death. So I have some toothpaste with me today and I have the word words on it and I made a new little label for it because our words are kind of like toothpaste. What do we do with toothpaste? Right, we brush our teeth. And is that a good thing or a bad thing to do? Good, yes. When we brush our teeth, it is healthy for our mouths. It's good for our teeth, it's good for our gums, it's good for our tongue, and it keeps them nice and clean if we use toothpaste the way that it is supposed to be. But have you ever gone into the bathroom after somebody else used your toothpaste and there's toothpaste all on the top of the cap and it's like oozing down the sides. It's really, really yucky and really, really messy. And it's kind of like that with our words too. Our words can be really good and speak live like we just talked about, or they can be messy. And you know how toothpaste is. It comes in these tubes. What happens if you squeeze really hard on the end of it? It just oozes out everywhere and it causes a really big mess. That's the way our words can be sometimes. They can just spill out when we're in a bad mood or when we're tired or when we're cranky or when like right now we've been around the same people all the time. We kind of sometimes get on each other's nerves and we just ooze these bad words out where we're name calling or we're doing this or we're doing that. And we don't even really mean it sometimes, but it happens. And we get these words out there and it oozes everywhere. So if you are at church watching, you should have gotten a Ziploc baggie in your praise pack. And I'd like for you to get that out now. Parents, you might need to supervise this just a little bit. You should have a plate and a little um, crab stick and some toothpaste and a wipe of some sort. And what I want you to do is just go ahead and open that toothpaste up and squeeze it out just like that squeeze it onto the plate okay there you go now once you have it squeezed out i want you to take your craft stick and try to put it back in the tube i tricked you a little bit didn't i okay let's see see if you can do it yeah i don't know about you but it's not really going back in the tube it's just kind of piling up on top so which was easier, getting the toothpaste out or putting it back in? Yeah, getting it out was way easier. So it's like this with our words. Once we say them, once we say a mean or hurtful thing, it's out there and you can't really take it back. We can apologize and we can ask for forgiveness from that person and from God, but the sting of those words are still there and that person isn't gonna just magically forget the name that you called them. So what I want for you to do is think a little bit more before we speak and try not to make these big messes nearly as often. Now we're all gonna mess up and we're all gonna say hurtful things sometimes and we need to be quick to apologize and to ask for forgiveness and we need to be quick to forgive others as well. But we need to focus and try our very best to use our words to speak life and not death. Let me read a, word, a scripture to you today from Proverbs 12, 18, and it says, Reckless words pierce like a sword. They hurt, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. So when we use our tongue with wise words, we bring healing. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. That's right. So let's use our words for life this week and not for death. I'm going to read our scripture one more time that kind of tells us about this. Proverbs 12, 18. Reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Let's bring healing and let's speak life to each other this week. All right? 
Let's use our words for good.